Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jibba73, back with the Double E Show. It's life is feudal. Forest village. Welcome back to Hampshire. So, when we left off in the last episode, uh, we had gotten nomads. Um, they had come to the town. They had uh, helped out as much as they could, and then they subsequently died off. But we were able to build the school. We were able to put a teacher in. We do have four of ten students, so they are learning. So in this episode here, what I would like to do is, uh, let's see, game speed set at times two. We are going to build the blacksmith shop. So they'll start to work on that. I'd like to, whoops, come over here. Um, let's see, where is it? Is it under here? No, it's under here, houses. I'd like to come in here. Not a hostel, not a constable residence, not an almshouse. I guess just a regular house. Oof, wait a minute. That's quite large. Um, so, not that. Um, uh, a Bordar's house? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, so we're going to come over here. Um, see if I can see what it is I'm doing. And, and, I, and I really can't. But I'm going to bring it um, right like so, I'm going to plop one there, and so that's the Bordar's house, and then the small house, I would like to come right like, with a little bit of room in between, right about there. Now... That should give us plenty to do, right? Um, very hard to see whether these are going to line up. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Uh, where is it? I'm going to come in here. No. Terraforming. General. One of these allows me to cancel. General. Uh, select an area to increase, uh, click on building to deconstruct. Okay, we're going to come over here, and we're going to get rid of that one for now. We're going to build the house and the blacksmith. Um, once this house is in, I'll be able to better see, uh, where it's laid out. Let's, uh, let's gather some resources. Uh, namely, let's get some trees out of here, please. So, um, we will crank up the speed, and I wonder, let's pause for a second. Uh -huh. if, if I click on you, right, you're eating. If I click on your person, I, ooh, there we go. Okay, we're in first person view. Can I, oops, unpause. Can I have you come over here? Um, escape. So, I don't know how to actually make them do stuff yet. But we'll figure that out as we go. Alright, so this little house over here is cute because it's got a garden, but we can't see it. So, let us uh, make sure that we take out the trees that are obscuring our garden. And, uh, yeah, so they're actually getting to the house uh, very quickly, it looks. Um, well, no, that's just the footprint. Okay, right on. They are bringing the resources to... What do we got? Well, we've got plenty of resources in there, right? I, I, I did the little cheaty thing, I know, but it's there. Um, 
should be a tab here. I, I, I forget where everything is after a time. Uh, here we go. Roads. Uh, we will go dirt road. Can I get dirt road in there? I cannot. But I do have... Um, I'm going to go dirt road like so. So 20. And then we're going to bring 20 back. Yeah. And they'll they'll do that. They will do that. Wait a minute, what is this? Uh, a cross section. What is it? Automatically do that for you? Oh, that would be nifty. Um, if I come down here and went. Uh, you cannot build in this area. Oh, okay. Um, oh, wait a minute. That's bridges. Got it. Okay. I see. Right on. Um, it'd be really nice. In fact, let's let's do something here real quick. So, do I have clay in here? I have clay in here. So, I am going to actually take the clay digger out. That'll give me an extra laborer. Um, I'm going to leave the school teacher in. And the uh, the innkeeper that's at the, the Nomad Inn. Which is this right here. Nomad's Post. Keep calling it in because every time I click on it, there's good music playing. And that would lead me to believe. Oh, look at that. Let us watch as she builds. Uh, actually, that means she's built. So, um, okay. Draw back. Draw up. Whoop, too far. Too far back. Over here. Um, no tools. Uh, in here, we have steel tools, we have high quality tools, and we have primitive tools. So, we don't need anything at this time for them. But my goodness, look at that model. I love it. Oh, I, I feel like in order to get um, things kind of rolling, uh, we're going to have to play on a faster speed for sure. So if I come down here, like from here, oops, and I go out... 20, and I go over one, and I come back 20. It gives me room here for, like, resource piles. And then if I come down this way, and I go from here, and I come out 20, and I come over here, and I go back 20. There you go. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it gets a bit hard to see. These trees grow like crazy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so... The Bordar's house. Very nice. Uh, a bunch of people went in there. Yeah, a bunch of people went in there. Okay. So let's uh, zoom up here. So if a bunch of people went there, um, two people in there, two people in there, two people in there. Very nice. And they're expecting two babies right away. That's kind of awesome. So, all right, they're bringing foods in there and stuff. That's excellent. All right, now let's uh, let's come back once again. We will do this. Right on. Okay. And then houses. Uh, we just wanted a uh, regular small house um, that we could put right there. Cannot build in that area. Can build in that area. And I can build in that area. Why can't I build in this area? Do I need to terraform it? Well, let us see if we can do that. So there's a terraforming tool here. 
and create a flattened slope, flattened ground, raised ground. So it allows you to raise or lower an area. So if I go from here, right, and I come down, about one more, and I come down. I can raise it like so. Um, right about there. Yeah. Okay. Now, I don't know. Alright, so that's the terraforming project. I will let them get to that. I don't need to keep the blacksmith open, actually. So, another thing, so while they're terraforming that area, I don't know how well that's going to work, but I wanted to look at putting in a forester. Um, it's going to be harder in the dark, but kind of over this way. So, resource gathering, uh, lumberjacks launch, uh, carpenter shop, I guess it would be a lumberjacks lodge. Nope, Forester's Lodge. There you go. So if I put in a Forester's Lodge, is that as far out as I can draw? Okay, it is. But I can come up. There we go. I can see that a little better. I could put a Forester's Lodge in. Right there. And then if that's the Forester's Lodge, uh, a Lumberjack's Lodge, um, firewood production in order to keep houses heated during uh, cold seasons, number of workers three, right on. So I might, might, uh, can I get it in over here? Oop, I can get it right there. So, could I get it in down here? Oop, I can get it right there. Now, let's uh, see what looks like the front. We'll go with that look. And... Right there. And right there. Right there. What I'd like to do is get it so it doesn't look like it's going to take up the road piece, but I think it's going to take up the road piece. Oh, now that I've come over here, I can't get it to go in again? There. Yeah. Looks like it's going to build on the road one tile. Wow, super finicky. Okay, how about over here? Um, no. I'm going to swing around here. I'm going to come down. Gosh, it's so hard to see with these massive trees. And it's dark out. So that's ready to go. Um, there, there. Uh, I would like to go to it, but apparently I cannot just go to it. So there it is in the forest. 
We will try to get a good all-around view of it. All right, that looks like an entrance there. Okay, excellent. So, uh-oh, you know what that means. Well, it doesn't mean anything. Okay, nothing caught on fire, very good. Uh, I like when they're quick and dirty like that. Okay, so, um, how's that going? Is that done? It looks like it might be done. So can I now come in here with a house like this one? And I can place it right there. So let's go over. There we go. And all right. So lumberjack hut apparently built. Very good. Um, do we have firewood in here? Logs. Uh, or, well, I will put somebody in the lumberjack's hut. Just one person. And they will make uh, three firewood out of logs. And if I come over here... And I go, uh, general information, terraforming, collect research, storage. If I go warehouse, I can rotate it this way and have it go like so. So build me another warehouse. So Forester's Lodge, nobody in it for the time being. Um, is that house done already? Holy shnikes, they ain't messing around, are they? Times 10 speed is times 10 speed. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here to the Nomad Hut. And I'm going to invite additional Nomads. And it uh, apparently, yes. Okay, we're going to go uh, one, two out there. And we will, we will actually give them a home close to where they're working. I will find your house. There it is. Okay, so let's come in here. And uh, this would be what? A hut? No, we don't want to do a hut. We will go uh, shack. Shack's a little better. We'll go shack right about there. Okay, excellent. Warehouse is done. Very nice. So now I have two warehouses, which is, uh, you know, it, it's good for storage. I mean, I wasn't really touching the first warehouse yet. Uh, as you can see, plenty of room. Plenty of room. But uh, can never have too much storage, I believe. All right. So, woodcutter. So, showing firewood. Oh, there's firewood there. Well, right on. But I got somebody doing it, and that's, that's the important thing. Excellent. Um, let's look at the tools. Yeah, so they're using, they're just using steel tools. They're not even using the high quality. So, um, we could almost set up a trading dock and trade some of these uh, resources. But the houses are looking good. Um, need to come in here once again and clear the trees out of my town. I. <laughs> It, it almost makes me want to do um, this. It almost makes me want to take and put a forester. Um, like if we come... Town center. Come over this way a little bit. I'll go like so. Right? I 
I'm going to back that down to one. Back that down to one. We'll get this built. And their only job will be to cut. Cut trees, that's it. Do that all day long. I think that'll work. All right, but I should get another house in. Okay, that shack is open. Excellent. So let's get a small house. Um, rotate it around so we get your front door. Why can't I build there? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to terraform. Alright. Forester's Lodge in here. You will not plant. You will only cut. Uh, no, we'll put two people in there. Yeah, there you go. Right on. Okay. So we don't need to keep you open any longer. Your only job is to cut. So now if I come back in here... And I go like so. Right. And then come in here with the small house. I can't see the front there's the front door. Right on. One more little bit of terraforming. And we'll come back in here with the small house. Rotate. Right on, there it is. That's the house I want, and that's where I would like it. Very cool, very cool. And we'll go resource limits on the Forester's Lodge. I um, suppose I can go uh, 50,000, right? Yeah, we'll go 50,000. Same thing with this Forester's Lodge here. I want to make sure that it does it for everybody. It does. Excellent. And that's your only job. That is your only job. Do they store? They do. They do store logs in those. Okay. Excellent. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. So, I think that's going to do it for this week's episode. If you liked what you watched... Hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you have any suggestions, tips or tricks, things you uh, like to see me do, put them in the comments down below because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Tuesday for another episode of Life is Feudal, Forest Village. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, check out the playlist above, or watch what YouTube tells you to on the right. Oh yeah, and subscribe.